to uh, see what this looks like before I cut it. Again, I shave these sides off a lot of times on these lob lollies where I can see how thick my hinge is right there. See, my hinge is made. A lot of people ask me all the time, why do you bore so much? Why do you bore so much? Well, that hinge is doing. I don't have to fight trying to make a hinge while the tree's falling. That's why. You want about a third or 80% uh, DBH uh, of the width of how deep you want to go back in right there. Make your hinge about 10% DBH. That's about an inch and a half. You can go thinner. You can go down to five to to seven percent instead of the normal ten percent on these lob lollies because they hold so good. So y'all dude that, that tree hit the ground so hard.
those pines it's about 130 foot tall maybe 140 it's a stud a lot of sap coming out of it right there too anyhow we're gonna drop her right there in that hole and then i'll get the I'm, i'll get the top out of it chip all the limbs not the haul all the main pieces out of it i'm gonna cut it with the uh, 500 and the 25 inch bar i got square ground chain on uh on this one right here that's what's on it i'm gonna push it with the kubota <laughs> what you call a thumper right there. Stud. Alright, this one here is the twin to that one over there. I think it's probably a couple inches smaller diameter than that one over there. I see some bumblebees flying around here. I wonder if I got on a bumblebee nest somewhere. Okay. I don't see them swarming too bad. But anyhow, this tree has got a lot of back lean. Y'all can't see it, but it's got several feet of back lean coming back this way. Over the neighbor's uh, garage over there. 
so I'm gonna cut this one a little bit higher than I did that other one over there uh, because the uh, it's got a cat face on it right there bad spot hopefully I won't get lit up by bumblebee there's a nest somewhere around here I didn't kind of run through but I don't see just a ton of them so let's see if I can get this thing down and get out of this little spot and this will be the last tree on this job this in here is going to make a third one in Instagram this looks like before I cut it again I shave these sides off a lot of times on these lob lollies where I can see how thick my hinge is right there see my hinge is made a lot of people ask me all the time why do you bore so much why do you bore so much my well, hinge is doing I don't have to fight trying to make a hinge while the tree's falling that's why you want about a third or 80 percent uh, DBH uh of the width of how deep you want to go back in right there make your hinge about 10 percent dbh that's about an inch and a half you can go thinner you can go down to five to, to seven percent instead of the normal ten percent on these lob lollies because they hold so good so it's ready all it's got to do now is just cut this back right here and then i can get on the machine and let it go but uh, I just wanted to show that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pressure. Good 
tree hit the ground so hard it shook this mini excavator right here when I was sitting on it. Bumper boy. All right, this is what it looks like here now. See, there's a hinge all the way across. And you want that notch to be 70 degrees or greater. If it's 70 degrees or greater, you can line up with the apex of the hinge. You don't need a stunt shot. The stunt shot is when you get up one or two inches above the apex is what that does. So if you're 70 degrees or greater on your notch, you don't have to have a stunt shot. If you are going to cut a 70 degrees or less on the notch, you need a stunt shot or you need to go to a Humboldt, cut that because that's going to keep that tree on that thing. If you notice in the video, that hinge did not tear until that tree was right at the ground. And that's what you want. It keeps that tree attached to the stump. That's the seat belt to the ground for that tree right there. You cut through your hinge, or tree this size right here. You go through your hinge, you don't have a stump shot. Then the top starts trying to seek its attachment point. You're sitting right there on the machine. That tree could fly off of that stump and go 40 foot back there, go right through that machine. That's why it's so important to have a stump shot Humboldt or have it cut like that right there where you've got a 70 degree or greater. Safest way to do it is 70 degree or greater and you're good to go. Never cut like a 22 and a half degree notch and always make sure that your apex right here meets both. It needs to meet perfectly. You need to practice on that to get that. If that don't meet perfectly, when it closes, wherever it closes at, it's going to pop that hinge every time. pretty cool uh me taking the camera and showing what that looks like i've never really thought about doing that but it, it makes sense when you look at it from the side and you see the way i've got the notch set up on the on the cut and then the hinge and explaining it and uh it should be very understandable to most people that may have had some questions about it or something but uh that way of cutting right there is by far anybody that doesn't have very much experience even with a chainsaw with a little practice on making your cuts match and everything 
you can precision fail trees just like I do. And it just takes a little bit of practice to where you're making sure you're holding the saw flat and level. And I, I sit there watching that and listen to how I was explaining that. And the biggest thing was just watching it, see how it was laid out, kind of like a blueprint, you know? And the cool thing is, is you can walk out from that tree once you make your notch before you bore it. You can walk out from it and you can look at it, and I do it a lot, and you can line up with it just like looking down a gun barrel, and that's where that tree is going to land. That uh, there is not going anywhere else. That's where that tree is going to land. And if you need to move the tree, if you messed up and you need to adjust that notch some left or right, you can shave it left or right to make it move left or right. Then you can bore it. But you're not committed until you bore it. Once you bore it, you're committed in. So let's finish up the uh, basketball court uh, job here. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope you have a great week starting out here. And uh, we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.